On this channel, I have showcased both of Google's incredible AI coding agents, Stitch, which is an incredible UI and UX design tool that can easily build out front-end code for your mobile and web apps, as well as Jules, the asynchronous coding agent. It's an agentic coding assistant that can basically read your entire project context and autonomously write tests, fix bugs, as well as build features for you. Now, what if I was to tell you that there is a new way for you to combine both of these capabilities into one streamlined pipeline? You can use Stitch to generate your front end code and complete the back end with Jules, which takes over the logic, the integrations, the testing, as well as the debugging process so that you can push your product to production. This is shaping up to be a full on AI software assembly line. And it's something that you can easily get started with completely for free, which is the best thing associated with these two streamlined together. And I kid you not, it's super easy. For example, this is an Airbnb clone that I had created with Stitch. It created all the components based off of the image that I had provided. I simply got this off of Google images and I told it to replicate it. And it was able to do a great job in replicating all the components. Now, the great thing is, is that the code is available for the front end. Say if I want to create the backend. Now what we can do is click on these three dots and you can export this to Jules. If you click on this, you have the ability to directly integrate it into Jules where you can select the repository that you want to work within and you can help build the components out like the backend structure, the logic, or even debug certain components that you wanted to iterate on further. This is the capability of Stitch and Jules with this new feature to streamline the process of building full stack apps. And like I said, you can also export this as a zip file and you may ask, why would you do this? Well, you can use that zip file within Google AI Studio build mode, which is another AI coding agent. This won't perform as good as Jules, but you can use the limits over here to build out any sort of integration backing component by simply attaching the file and then describing what you want it to build on. But by having Jules and Stitch combined, you're going to be able to get some incredible outputs. This is not something that you would expect from any sort of AI model. You can see that there isn't just a front end that was generated. It has back end components that was also integrated into this app. But before we dive in, let me introduce today's video sponsor, Skillkit, the auth stack built specifically for AI applications. If you're building a B2B AI product, authentication can get messy. Scalekit gives you complete auth infrastructure where you can authenticate AI agents, secure your MCP servers and APIs with the drop-in OAuth layer and protect human users with the passwordless flow like magic links or passkeys or go up market with enterprise SSO and Scrim. And here's the kicker. You don't have to switch your entire auth provider already on auth0 or an open source solution. Well, no problem. Scalekit's modular design lets you add enterprise level identity or agent identity features without rewriting your stack. That flexibility is really their secret sauce. So if you want to secure every layer of your AI app and scale without headaches, take a look at Scalekit with the link in the description below and start building smarter authentication today. To get started, you can easily go ahead and create an account completely for free as long as you have a Google account with both Jules as well as Stitch. But now we can use Stitch, its AI coding capabilities to fully generate the UI components for our front end of our project. We can simply describe what we wanted to build, whether it's an app or a web app, and we can have it designed in the experimental mode or the standard mode. The experimental mode will use the Gemini 2.5 Pro, fully free to develop any sort of UI component that you describe. You just need to simply describe it in natural language. You can even upload wireframes, mockups, as well as sketches for it to reference and build out. In this case, what I want Stitch to work on is building out all the components of a crypto trading platform. I'm telling it to basically develop the UI components like the real-time order book, the live price feed, the candlestick chart, and a lot more. And I'm adding this chart over here which I found off of Google and I'm going to be requesting it to mimic it. So now what we can do is send in this prompt and it is going to be executed by the Gemini 2.5 Pro. I'm going to first start off by planning out all the steps as to how it will tackle it. And within the canvas, it's going to display all the components that it will generate. And there we go. I kid you not, in 40 seconds, it was able to develop 
this crypto trading exchange that mimics the photo that I had provided. And it did a great job in adding all the components that we had requested, like the live chart, the candlestick chart. You also have the order book, which is being displayed. And it did a great job in structuring it like how we wanted it to structure based off the wireframe. And now what you can also do is iterate on this further by requesting other details. You can even generate multiple options as well. So if you click on this button, you can generate more options of this so that you can get different variants for it to code out. And I did that right now. I have select three variants for it to actually generate and it will generate three more of these copies in different formats and different uh, components within this canvas. And you also have the ability to annotate to edit. So if you click on this, you can select a certain component for it to iterate on further. You also have the ability to adjust the theme. So if there's a particular theme that you want to change it to like green, you can do that. You can change it to light mode. You can also generate multiple copies directly from the canvas and you can even regenerate it, download it, and then actually view the code that was actually generated. You can export this to Figma as well, which is a capability that Stitch provides. And all of this is being accomplished fully free. And I will say it's not the best generation with these new variants. Like you see over here, this does not look like a full on crypto exchange. Uh, the gradient doesn't make sense at all over here. But in this case, the formatting is not correct with this trading dashboard. But the last one that we've got looks pretty good. And in my opinion, these two options look the best. I personally would like to go forward with this due to the structure and we can tell the jewels agent to actually fix all the components that are messed up in this case. So now what we can do is if we highlight this canvas itself by clicking on the select button, you can then click on these three dots. And what you can also do is you can attach multiple variants. So if I want to select both of them, you can click on shift and then you can click on these three dots and you can export it to jewels. In this case, what we can say is we can describe it to build on further for the crypto exchange. This is where I can describe jewels to basically focus on the next component where I wanted to build out the back end. And I wanted to polish these components for the front end. I wanted to also fix and expand the app itself. And obviously, if there's a component issue that you want to fix, you can iterate within Stitch. But I'm going to have jewels now work on the next component, which will work on building out the overall task. Now I'm going to choose a repository for it to work on. And then once you're ready, you can then go ahead and click on create task. And you can see now it is working on tackling the backend tasks where it's going to fully code out every component so that our app is fully functional. And thanks to Stitch developing the front end components, it will now work on building out the backend components and making sure that it is going to be able to connect perfectly with the front end. And there we go. We now have it so that Jules is now working on the back end component of building out our crypto exchange. You can see it is working on the plan process. And once you approve this plan, you can click on the plan approve button, which will start working on executing this task. And you can see now it is working on tackling the back end task where it's going to fully code out every component so that our app is fully functional. And thanks to Stitch, Developing the front end components, it will now work on building out the back end components and making sure that it is going to be able to connect perfectly with the front end. And there we go, guys. I have finally opened up whatever it had created and it was able to fully develop this with a live order book, which you see on the left hand side. And it made sure all the components are functional, just how we had requested it to be. It added all of the positions which we saw within that image. It was able to fully build the live trades being placed. You can also even place down any sort of limit order or even a market order if needed by pressing the buy long or short button. But essentially, it was able to fully build this out based off of the free tier that is available with Stitch as well as with Jules. And this is why I believe this is one of the best tools available. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's how you can build almost anything with these two combined. This is the capability of Google Labs impressive new coding agents. And I highly recommend that you take a look at all of them with the links in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter. Join our private Discord. 
follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day for positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.